And now at 5.30, the search for answers. Nearly 24 hours after a police-involved shooting, officers say they were forced to fire on a man during a traffic stop. That man is in serious condition at the hospital. And the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, the FDLE, is investigating the circumstances that landed him there. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live tonight at Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami with more. Ted. Hi, Rick and Natalia. Well, as uh, that man is recovering here at Jackson Memorial Hospital at the Ryder Trauma Center, we are learning more about the officers who are involved. We understand the one who fired is a veteran of the police force and that he was with his sergeant. A Miami-Dade police officer fires on Francisco Perez Trejo while he was in his car at Northwest 90th Street and 26th Avenue last night. It happened when two plainclothes detectives in an unmarked car noticed some suspicious activity. We don't know specifically what that was, but investigators say when they approached him, he did not follow orders. The vehicle refused to stop. The driver began making abrupt movements inside the vehicle as if he was reaching for something. Police say Perez refused to lower his window and continued to move around inside. That's when police say the detectives feared for their safety. The driver of this vehicle refused and the officers were forced to fire. Remember, we're talking about maybe a second maximum where all this happens and, and police officers have to make decisions. It's either their life or the other ones. John Rivera is president of the PBA, the police union. He credits the officers with keeping the streets safe. He tells us the detectives who fired may be a nine-year veteran and that he was with his sergeant. They are like a crime prevention unit and they they go out and their job is to specifically look for suspicious behavior in the in these communities so that they kind of try to catch the bad guys. The FDLE investigates police-involved shootings for Miami-Dade when someone is hit. They will likely look into the fact that the officers were in plain clothes and in an unmarked unit. Rivera says he does not expect any issues there. I think in this case, and I think the evidence will bear out, that they properly identified themselves. At the moment, the FDLE is not talking about the investigation. Both officers are on administrative leave. When we understand, before each of them comes back, they will take uh, a new course that's being uh, offered by the Miami-Dade Police Department, a shoot-don't-shoot shoot course, that type of scenario. We understand, as we said, that is something new that the department will be doing. Live in Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Ted, thank you.